Now right now on this channel, I'm on a journey to turn $500 into $1 million. And over the years, we've been very patient growing our capital and our business. And in fact, currently the channel net worth is $88,618. And a couple episodes ago of the vlog, we spent over $34,000 on brand new couches in the box to resell. And we already sold a couple. But today, we're gonna see what a full month of running this business actually looks like. Because at the end of the vlog today, I'm gonna talk about how much time I spent on all the sales, what our gross sales were, what our cost of goods were, any other expenses involved, and what our actual true profit is for the month. And I think you're gonna be really shocked to find out the results. So let's take it all the way back to the start of May, start making some sales, and let's see how much money we can really make. Let's go. So I got a display set up here for you. Pardon the mess, I was just getting ready to break these boxes down here. Uh, so these are how they come. I have them all in the box. So it's missing one cushion. It's in my van, unfortunately. <laughs> but they come with all the cushions and everything. There, yeah, you can rearrange it any way you want. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. Cool. Well, I will go swap out cars and then okay. I'll uh, just shoot me that address if you haven't already. I will. Can I have the doggy? You have the doggy? Well, what Parker said, this is a mess. To cap off this one, I brought a little extra help with me to close out these sales. Hey, come here, I got a question. Listen, I brought you guys here to help me out today to close out these sales. If you can help me sell these couches, I will give you each. How many dollars? One dollar. One for each of you, okay? All right, How high five? Much? Let's do it. Let's make it happen. All right. <laughs> What a great help that was. Now listen, we're gonna get ready for the next person to come here, okay? Anyway, that's a sale. Hey, we sold that couch, so guess what you guys get? Huh? Wait, but do we get one dollar or like do you give us two of one dollar? Well you get you get one dollar for that sale, and if we get another one, maybe you'll get two dollars. What do you think just happened in here? Were you guys were you guys paying attention to the sale? Did you see what happened? No. No? You helped me sell it. You told them all the good things about the container over there and they want to buy it now. Oh. So, guess what that means? One dollar. One dollar? Two dollars. Two dollars. Two dollars. But Daddy, can we watch YouTube for a little? Maybe. Let's go. <gasps> Alright everybody. Mine was hard, right? It's very hard. What is that good? Take your two. One. Thanks. Thank you. Daddy, how much do one dollar cost? Honestly, I think those little girls might have scammed me. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they were worth the four bucks. They did. They did decorate my forklift to make it look pretty nice, but I think I probably could have made those sales happen without them. They are cute though. On to the next one. I got here just as I was getting here. What's the timing? What special timing is that? Okay, let's uh, we're gonna sell two. 
We're gonna sell, he just got here, and then someone else is gonna come in like 10 minutes, so let's make it happen. Cool, and then all the ones that I've done, so yeah, you see that square, all the cushion stuff is there. Done. Number two, pending. All right, so I had to cut that one short a little bit on camera because that second family had brought their kids with them, and I just I just really don't want to include the other people's kids in my videos at all, so obviously I can't use a lot of that footage. But I did want to give some context on what was so nice about those two sales and that they were both pickups from the warehouse, and often I'm delivering them, which takes me a good bit of time, but these happened within a matter of like 45 minutes of each other. But these pickups happened back to back, so I was really only there for like an hour for two separate pickups. And each of those sets sold for $1,500, so we had a total sales of $3,000. The cost of goods on them was $1,528, which left us a profit of $1,472 in one hour. Not bad, not bad at all. This month is crazy, and these, these new sets in the box, they have really... I thought B-Stock was going to be like the best thing ever, but these have really just changed a lot for us here on the channel. We are moving up really fast, and we're not even done yet. Let's go. So we just finished that one up and we are almost done for the month, but not quite yet, just a little bit more. So what I gotta do now, I gotta head to my warehouse. We have a couple more deliveries lined up before we're finished here. So I'm gonna go ahead and preload the van so I can knock that one out, you know, in another day or two and then kind of wrap it all up and then finally get that big monthly number and see what we did for the entire month of May. So let's go ahead and get to it.
All right, so it is Memorial Day weekend, which means this month is just about over. And we're gonna finish it off with one more pretty big sale, but we gotta drive all the way down to Sarasota, so it's an hour drive. The good news though is that I have a friend in town down there. They're going to the beach. So I decided to take my wife and kids with me. Uh, they're in my car behind me. I didn't put them in the back of the van this time. But we're gonna head down here, wrap up the sale, show you guys what we made for the whole month. And I'm just gonna tell you right now, it's a lot. It's a lot, this is a big one. So let's make it happen. All right, we're pulling up right now. Let's get in there, unload, make our sale, and go to the beach. Oh, and that is a sale, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's gonna do it for us. This month, so now it's time to talk about our actual numbers for the whole month in terms of full revenue and what our profit was, and we're gonna do that. But first, it's a beach day. Now I'll be honest with you guys, I'm shooting this outro like way later than everything else in this video was filmed. And if you look around the warehouse, you'll notice that this place is like almost empty. So whatever you see in this video, just know that it's only scratching the surface for what's to come. And because in this episode, I'm gonna break down the episode financials as well as the whole month financials, it's, it's a little more complicated than usual. So let me see if I can make it a bit easier to understand. All right, so because I'm tracking two sets of numbers on this episode, uh, we're doing like the episode specific financials and also the monthly financials. So I'm gonna show you the difference. And I also have terrible handwriting and, and really I just, I, I don't care. I type everything anyway. Okay, so for the episode, we had total sales of 16,247. That came from 14 sales total. Cost of goods on all those items was 8,786. We had operational expense of 232 for gas and van insurance and the $4 payroll, which then gives us a profit of 7,457 for what you saw in the episode today and a new channel net worth of $96,075, almost Mm, almost at the 100K net worth. But that begs the question, what about for the whole month? Because we did have some sales on a previous episode that we hadn't really factored in here yet. So for the month, we had $21,425 in sales, cost of goods was 11,269, our operational expense was 2,457 because that warehouse rent is pretty expensive. Hoping to buy a place down the road, but not with these rates, which gives us a monthly profit of $7,699. Now, $7,700 is a lot of money, but where this gets really impressive is where you figure out how much time I actually spend doing this, and it's just not that much. Because realistically, I probably spend like two hours per couch I sell, and even that's a stretch, because often people just pick them up from the warehouse. Just to be extremely conservative and generous, let's say I spend about 40 to 45 hours for the month doing all these sales. It comes out to about 10 hours a week. So when you take all that into consideration to make $7,700 in profit only on 10 hours a week, I'd say that's that's pretty great. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you check out this one here when we initially bought all those couches. And you can also check out this one here when we really start getting our sales going for the very beginning. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see y'all next time.